Hi, I'm Tom Wishon, and thanks for your continued interest in learning more about professional club fitting technology. You know, for years, I'm sure you're well aware of the fact that all sorts of companies, us included, have always published and used, advocated the use of a measurement of the golfer's wrist to floor as a guideline, as a starting point for determining the length of the golf clubs. Okay? Over the years, we've worked with this in our fitting research. We've tweaked and manipulated our chart that we use to offer a recommended starting point for driver length and five iron length based on a wrist to floor measurement. Well, it was not too long ago, in fact, just this past year, where all of a sudden um, something just hit me. And that was the fact that when we were talking, I was in a group and I was talking about club fitting, uh, and the point came up that when we fit irons, we're fitting irons with a big focus on comfort, but on the other hand, with drivers and woods, we're fitting the drivers and woods more with a focus on the golfer's ability, uh, what length do they have the ability with their swing and their playing characteristics to be able to hit correctly and consistently. In other words, woods and, and irons are fit under two different guidelines when it comes to the length that we need to advise for the golfer. Irons fit on the basis of comfort because when we set up to the irons with all the different irons in the bag, we want to make sure that we're in a comfortable stance for our posture, that we don't feel like we have to crouch down more or bend over more as we go through all the different irons in the set. This is one of the reasons why we advocate in many cases going away from the traditional half inch incremental change between irons to going to 3 8 inch increment. Doing that allows the clubs to progressively get a little bit longer as you go down through the higher lofted clubs so that as you get down to the 7, the 8, the 9, the wedges, you don't have to bend over more than you did with the five, six, you know, or four iron. You don't have to crouch down more to get comfortable. In other words, comfort rules all when it comes to the length of the irons. There is no reason to fit anyone into any kind of a length that's longer or shorter in the irons. There is only the reason to use a wrist to floor measurement, which gives us an idea of the relationship of the golfer's height to their arm length, and then to use that for advising a length that makes the golfer comfortable over the ball so he can stay relaxed, turn and maintain a proper spine angle through the shot. Drivers and woods, it's a whole different animal out there. We've used the comment before. We want you to be fit into the longest length driver that you can control and hit consistently on center. Okay, for a very small number of golfers, that might be a 46 or 47 inch long driver. Okay, the golfer who qualifies to be able to swing with that long of a, golf, of a driver has to be a golfer with the following swing characteristics. He has to have good, repeatable, rhythmic swing tempo. He has to have very good control over his tempo to be repeatable with that. An inside out swing path not definitely, definitely not an outside impact. He needs to have a late or pretty late release of the wrist cock angle so that he can turn the longer length into a higher club head speed. Because remember, the earlier you release the club, at the point you release the club, that's when you gain your highest club head speed. So early release golfers can't get higher club head speeds with longer length drivers and thus it's ridiculous to fit them into it. So again, characteristics to play a, long, a longer length driver and be well fit into it. Good swing tempo, good swing rhythm and repeatability. Inside out to square path. A late to very late release. Um, a flatter swing plane helps as well as you turn and move the club around, the longer length club around your body. If you don't have these characteristics in your swing, you have no business playing with longer length drivers and therefore your best driver length is going to be shorter. Why is this so important? Again, because as you well know, the standard driver length for many years now uh, that the big companies have advocated is between 45 and 46 inches in length. They do this to try and generate more club head speed, to get more distance for golfers because they know full well if a golfer hits a club once 
longer than he hits his current club, he'll probably buy it because distance sells. It is a very big draw in, in the marketing and sales of golf clubs. But we as club fitters, we want golfers into the longest link that they can control and that they can swing consistently and that they can hit the shots on center as consistently as possible. And for most people, that is a shorter length, 44, 43 and a half, even 43 inches for men, shorter than that for the average women player as well. So what this boils down to is that when we use the wrist to floor measurement, we're now advocating that that only be used to fit for the length of irons because it's going to be identifying what length can be most comfortable for the golfer. Starting with that beginning point on the five iron length. Now as you watch the golfer, if he begins to crouch down a little more or bend over a little more as he gets down into the seven, eight, nine and wedges, go with the three eighths inch length increments to give him continued comfort all the way through the highest lofted irons. But you don't use wrist to floor measurements to fit for a driver or for the woods. That you have to do on the basis of analyzing the golfer's swing characteristics and his ability to control what length is most controllable for him. So again, wrist to floor measurement as we do it, we do this from the major wrist crease at the base of the hand of the upper hand in the grip. So for the right-handed golfers, that's going to be the left hand. For a left-hand playing golfer, that's going to be the right hand. When we do wrist to floor measurements, we want the golfer in flat soled shoes on a hard surface floor, not carpet. We want the golfer to stand comfortably erect, not braced in this manner, just comfortably erect, shoulders perfectly level. We don't want anything of a tilt like this. Shoulders perfectly level and arms hanging relaxed at our sides. Okay, obviously you as a club fitter, you're going to be handling the ruler so you can be much more adroit at being able to do this, but basically it works like this. Comfortably erect, shoulders perfectly level, flat soled shoes on a hard surface floor, arms hanging relaxed, distance from the major wrist crease of the upper hand in the grip to the floor. We keep charts on this that we keep manipulating. If you need that reference, it's in our Common Sense Club Fitting book. But it's also, you can just email us or phone us and we'll be happy to email you a copy of it as well. But what we're going to give you, as I mentioned before, is only a wrist to floor starting guideline for a five iron length. Because we don't believe in, the, in using wrist to floor measurement anymore for driver length fitting. So that's a bit of a change. Again, just to reiterate, <clears throat> we're fitting iron length for comfort first. We're fitting wood and driver length on the basis of your ability and what is that longest length that the golfer can control and hit consistently on center the highest percentage of the time. Again, thanks very much for your interest in professional club fitting. And remember, we're always here to help you with any of the technical questions that you may have to help you become a better club fitter and help your golfers as much as possible. Mm -hmm.